Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Sometimes you do not have 110 or 220 volt mains available where you work. Some instruments might run off batteries, but my oscilloscope and my waveform generator do not. They need mains supply. This is at least what I thought. Today I try to power the two by using just a few of these 9 volt batteries. Nothing more. Will it work? Let's try. First, we have to understand power supplies of modern equipment. Most of them do not use anymore the old fashioned transformer, which transfers 220 volt AC to 12 volt AC. They now use switching power supply. These switching power supplies basically consist of three parts. A bridge rectifier which makes DC out of AC voltage. So after this stage we have a pretty high DC voltage. A first electrolytic capacitor smoothens the voltage. On this small 5 volt power supply you can see it. The rating of this capacitor is 400 volts. After that a switch switches the power on and off with a high frequency. An inductor together with a diode and a capacitor makes sure that the chopped voltage again is smoothened out. At the output the instrument's electronics are connected. These electronics run at 12V, 5V or even on 3.3V. They consume a certain current to operate. Without the switch it is quite obvious that the output voltage would be similar to the input voltage. If the switch would always be open, the output voltage would be zero. If the switch is closed only for 10% of the time, we would assume that the output voltage is about 10% of the input voltage. Of course, this depends on the current which is used by the electronics of the instrument. And because this current can vary, also the percentage of the on time has to vary. Therefore, these power supplies have a regulator built in which measures the output voltage and adjusts the on time of the switch as needed. Simple. We can go on now a little further and change also the input voltage. What would you expect? With the same on ratio, the regulator would measure a low output voltage and would immediately adjust the ratio to establish the needed output voltage again. The regulator would even not notice that the change came from the input voltage. This works as long as the input voltage is bigger than the needed output voltage. Maybe you remember the old times where we had to buy a 110 volt or a 220 volt version of a particular device. Or the device had a switch to adjust the input voltage with a big red warning stick not to forget to select the right voltage. Today's instruments do not need this switch anymore. If you look at the specifications, you see they run off 100 to 240 volts and also 50 or 60 hertz do not matter. Now you know why. But let's come back to our goal. We wanted to avoid mains. I think you already know now how this can be done. Because the input voltage anyway is rectified and transformed into DC, we could try to supply a DC voltage right away. It just should be about 100 volt and then everything should be okay. The easiest way to get 100 volts with batteries is to connect 10 9 volt batteries in series. Then we just have to connect our newly created power plant to a mains plug plug in our waveform generator and press on. It really starts up. And it works. Now let's continue with the next instrument, the oscilloscope. Again, we connect it and switch it on. The fan starts. But unfortunately, it does not start up. 
Obviously, it needs more power than the waveform generator, and our batteries are not able to supply it. Anyway, the battery pack was just a joke. But the concept can easily be used with a boost converter. My converter is able to output little more than 90 volts. So, this should be sufficient even for the oscilloscope. Let's try. Connect it. Push the button. The fan starts. The red lamp too. But it does not start up. Failure again. Summarized, I can say it is possible to use DC instead of AC for instruments with modern power supplies. But obviously, it works better with some than with others. At least everybody who did not already know, knows now why we do not need to care about 110 or 220 volts anymore. And it is not necessary to mention it in the comments. Of course I know that I can buy 12 volt to 220 volt AC converters. But then you know from start that it works. And you might discover other problems like unwanted harmonics etc. I hope this short video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!